they were going to plant Egyptian spinach or saluyot. So this is the packaging that I have today. And I'll show you what the seeds look like. Here are the seeds ng ating saluyot. So we have this all prepared into this pot. Now we're going to just sprinkle around this pot. Yeah, so we planted a lot of seeds and we'll see which is going to grow. As you can see, ina po ang ating seeds. And then we are just going to cover with a thin layer of soil. And then we are going to water this. We have saluyot here. We have few coming up. That's a good sign. More saluyot is coming up here. And look at them. <laughs> Very little yet. But they like the rain. It rains a um, couple of nights now. So let's open. Ang malalaki na. Open natin. Ito na. Now getting bigger. Look at that. So only few. Mayroong tubo pang maliit dyan. Ayan pa. Mayroong maliliit doon. Ayan. Hindi lahat sabay-sabay na tumubo. Ano. Pero I'm happy na mayroon na siyang ilang dahon sa isang puno. Mag-plan ka ng marami para alam nyo na yung iba tutubo, yung iba hindi. Pero okay na sa akin yan. Ang saluyot, malaki na ang ating Egyptian spinach. See, all the small leaves is still coming up. They like rainwater though. Look at that, the leaves is getting wider na. I like it. It's pretty. I know it's just few, pero pag lumaki sila, marami din yan. Update ng ating saluyo, tignan nyo naman. And look at the leaves, so nice, big. I'm so excited, I wanna harvest them soon. Oh, ang dami ng dahon, at saka malalaki. Tignan nyo, ang dahon mga malusog siya, see? Pwede kayong magplant ng saluyo, kahit sapat lang. Sa container na ganito lang, malit lang siya, pwede niya kayo magtanim. Ang ganyan. Ah, ang ganda, di ba? So, makakaani kayo kahit nasa apartment kayo o wala kayong garden. Kasi mostly, minsan sa Pilipinas, mostly mga concrete na ganyan, di ba? Eh, pwede naman kayo maglagay sa paso. Katulad ng akin talbos ng kamote. Nasa paso lang siya. Ngayon, Makikita nyo, pwede kayo magtanim dito sa mga container, kahit maliit lang. Malalaki na, di ba? Maganda ang kanyang tubo. You can plant this still. Look at that, they have big leaves. What I'm going to do, I'm going to harvest the top. And hopefully, meron siyang new shoot na babalik. Katulad dito, kung makikita nyo dyan, hopefully meron siyang tutubo dyan kasi may nakikita ako maliit na uusbong doon. Right, so, the moment of truth, tanggalin natin ang magandang dahon. Yan. Oh, tanggalin natin yung top at tingnan natin kung siya ay tutubo ulit. Ito pa siya. Diba? Ganda ang kanyang dahon. Walang sira. O. Tutubo pa ulit yan. Katulad nito, as you can see here, meron siyang bagong tumutubo doon. Ito siya. Mga bagong tumutubo dyan. At nandito pa. So, ang gagawin natin, dito lang, anihin natin siya. O. Tapos, meron pang babalik doon. Pwede naman natin manihin din yung mga old leaves. And for now, ito ang ating harvest.
diba? marami-rami din siya meron akong beans binagoongan na naman ang aking kalalabas na nito diba? may dinding-ding na naman tayong lulutuin oh, ang ganda ng ating saluyot as you can see mga bagong umuusbong dyan babalik yan oh, diba? so, siyempre, bibigyan ko ulit yan ng update is coming back, look at this Look at that. There's a new growth in here. So, got a new saluyot. It's just a couple of days that we harvest, and there's more growing on the side of the stem. We cut the tuff off here, we harvest that, and in here, look, and all the side shoots. It's coming back. Now you can plant saluyot in UK or even in cold weather in here. So this is my succession of growing saluyot. Thank you very much for watching Manila London. We now have a merch store with quite a lot on offer. Take a look at our Teespring from our channel page. Or you can hit a like, a subscribe or one of these tiles and stay with Manila London that little bit longer. Thank you for watching.